Thanks, Streamlabs. Hello and welcome to this episode of Tankstream Speaks. Today we are bringing you a different type of session to our normal founder talks. Today we are talking about the Founders Retreat. Now what is the Founders Retreat? Now this is a new program that we have designed at Tankstream Labs in partnership with the Powerful Brand Group and the Culture Equation. And the aim really is to bring you a business retreat that seamlessly blends networking, education and relaxation. And it is aimed at founders and decision makers of high growth scale up companies. And before we talk more about the retreat, I just want to introduce on the podcast today, I have Florenzia Torelli, the CEO and founder of the Powerful Brand Group, and Hiam Sakakini, the CEO and founder of the Culture Equation, who are both joining me today. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Hi, thank you. Great to have you on board. And I think maybe if we just start with a, a quick, you know, 30, 30 second pitch of, of your businesses and what they're about. So Florencia, do you want to start? Yes, sure. Thank you. At the Powerful Brand Group, we help founders, CEO and business leaders accelerate their business growth through the power of brand. And um, yeah, that's our passion. Brilliant. And him. And the Culture Equation is a company that does just that. It works with fast growing companies on their culture on their leadership and on their diversity programs. So we augment their teams and allow them to design incredible culture that attracts wonderful people into high performing teams uh, that help the business to grow. So to find out a little bit more about what we do, please visit our website. It's theculture-equation.com.au. And we are just about to launch our own podcast called Stories from the Culture Equation, which is now live on Spotify. That's exciting. So you're in you're in the mic in the hot seat asking the questions. I am. Well, I'm actually not asking questions. I'm allowing or facilitating my clients to tell their stories about transforming their culture. So I just introduce them and let them talk. I don't do anything else. Well, anyone anyone listening that's coming on the retreat, there's also the opportunity to join the podcast. <laughs> yeah, 100%. We need new stories. Absolutely. That would be great. Beautiful. Fantastic. Now, he and Flo, we, you know, we've worked together for many years. And so I feel really excited that we're bringing this program together and bringing your expertise and skills to founders to share and really help build and develop their business, personal leadership skills. On top of your expertise, in the retreat, we will be joined by some other experts as well. So we will have some scale up founders who have successfully scaled businesses. So we have the likes of Tim Fung, CEO of Airtasker, who will be joining us. We have venture capitalists who will be sharing their knowledge and giving updates in terms of what venture capitalists are currently looking for for businesses in that scale up phase. We will be joined by Matt Brown, the VC and founder of Black Nova Capital, as well as some other venture capitalists. And we'll also be joined by Steve Grace from the Nudge Group, being at, talking about talent and high-performing teams. So there's there's lots of experts who will be joining us, plus a few more who will be announced closer to to the retreat as well. You ladies will be in good company. Um, so we'll have a whole range of different topics. And most importantly, we'll, businesses and people will be able to network and build new relationships with fellow peers. And I think that's what is really important. So I'd, I'd like to just talk about the retreat with, with each of you. And, and firstly, start off about why you're involved and what makes you really excited about being part of this retreat? Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited about the retreat format. As you said, it's it's combining networking, education and relaxation and fun. And to get those three elements going together, having people come to one place away from work, being able to just focus entirely on creating the next stage of their business and their business growth together with like-minded people and every expert under the sun that can help them so they come away feeling really confident about what what next steps look like for them and what the next stage of growth looks like for them, along with a powerful network underneath that that's going to help and support them grow. I just can't think of anything more exciting. We're all very excited. I'm glad you are too. Flo, how about you? Uh, yes, for me, it's a bit of a dream come true. I see that in one of your posts, you put that as well. But I remember when I first talked to you about it, I've been thinking about how can I 
get all of these clients of mine? I have a lot of CEO and founder clients. How can I get them talking to each other? Because they talk to me in confidence, but I cannot talk to them about each other because it's all confidential. So I thought a retreat would be the perfect place for this to happen. And for me, that's that's what I'm really looking forward to see the energy of people talking to each other, coming and sharing challenges, giving each other's advice on top of us giving our expertise and the the successful founders and BC experts. Um, but for me, that, that energy of people coming together is, is quite unique. And uh, yeah, and the fun sounds good too. I hear you do like a glass of red wine. <laughs> I do, I do. I do drink less than I used to, but I still <laughs> uh, love my wines. But yeah, and, and that's part of the retreat. It's, it's not just the education side. It's about the networking, as we talk about, but also having fun and the relaxation. And that's why, as part of it, we have dinners, we have um, wine tasting with some local wineries and we have some activities uh, that we will reveal nearer to the time where groups can get together and you know talk business and talk learnings on on the golf course for example so lots of lots of fun to be had as well now in terms of the actual education side and the business maybe if we can just dive into into the sessions that you will be presenting now i don't i don't want to give too much away but maybe just to give the audience a, a bit of a teaser as to what's involved and there's really three key pillars that we're going to be focusing on which is business team and leadership as in you the founder who will be attending so Flo, maybe if you can just talk about the the business section firstly that that you will be covering yeah yeah with the business section the, the intention was to get people talking about what challenges they have and share challenges and maybe find that um overarching pillars uh, or foundations that we need to look up to transform our business. But um, these are interactive sessions. So one key takeout that that founders can take with them um, is going to be that we're going to challenge them on their vision. So my aim is to stretch their thinking, to make their vision bigger, more hairy, more audacious, and all of those words uh, that we use these days. So that's one going to be the first session. And also do some exercise with the person next to them and be able to open up and, and share challenges together. And that's really important because, you know, this this retreat is focused on a, a particular section of founders. So, you know, the criteria that we're looking for is founders of scaling businesses. So those businesses have to be in, re- in market with a product or service. They have to have a team of employees and they have to be revenue generating. So by having people of the same you know, stage of their growth journey, the challenges will be very similar that they're all experiencing. So that will be re- really good for them to talk amongst peers around those challenges. Absolutely, absolutely. And even hearing from from experts and founders that have done it before, it's it's going to be fantastic. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. And and here, um, you know, we, we'll be covering the team with, with you and looking at culture and building high performance teams. So maybe if you can just give us a little overview as to what to expect on, in your sessions. Absolutely. At- when I deal with scale-ups, what happens is it's quite easy at that one team level. But when we move into you know multiple teams or we go international, what happens is the culture that was so strong and one that that first original founding team just gets um, fragmented and diluted. So you as a founder, the culture is almost an extension of your personality. So we almost want to map out your personality into a sort of a nine box canvas, make it really easy to see what is going to make this organization as it grows really successful from a culture and a team perspective, map out the gaps, what are the things we're not thinking about and walk away with a really clear plan going forward in terms of what's really working well for us and what do we need to focus on going forward. And and that's really important, especially in this current environment where, you know, one, there's, there's shortages of top talent, but also secondly, actually trying to retain talent is, is such an issue at the moment in the market. It's just getting tougher and tougher in terms of quite quitting was definitely a theme for last year. Um, so people who are just holding a place in an organization, holding a spot in a team, but not necessarily giving it their all. Um, and in terms of how many people are now, right now, happy in the workforce, it's only at 17%, according to Gallup. It's still wow, very, very it. low. Exactly. But we know those that are engaged and that are happy are about 125% more productive than everyone else. So let's see if we can sort of switch that over. Fantastic. And all three of us, I'm sure, in that 17% of our organizations. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, the leadership session, flow. Yeah. What can we expect from that? 
yeah, in this session, we're going to totally put the spotlight on them. It's all about them and, and their mindset, their thinking, their behavior. And what we're going to do in the session is show them a, a tool. This is a Stanford University methodology that's going to help them identify different patterns of behavior that they have, that they may know or not know, uh, make them aware of this and give them a little tool and some strategies to overcome this. So at the end of the day, they can get out of this um, retreat, feeling totally aware, uh, understanding themselves, but um, hopefully with the aim to become uh, true, authentic leaders uh, and, and be true to themselves as well. And that's not just knowing themselves, right? It's about using those learnings to understand their teams as well. Abs absolutely. Look, the criteria is applic applicable to every human. This is done on a human basis kind of level. And the pattern of behaviors are from our lovely brain that is wired negatively. So unfortunately, um, in, in every human brain, in average, three out of four of our thoughts are negative. And that is definitely something that is evolutionary. We we, we had to have that to survive, but now in this day and age, we don't need it anymore. We can, especially for people that are at the top of businesses, we need to change that and not only do it in ourselves, but others. So, yeah, um, so yeah that's going to be very important. Really exciting. I'm, I'm excited and it's still three months to go. I wish it, <laughs> wish it was here now. <laughs> so I'm going to put you ladies on the spot, okay, just before we, we end this. Just one thing each of you are looking to get out of this retreat one thing that i'm looking to get out of the retreat this retreat is new exciting connections i i want to know and get to know new people connect with them and um and yet yeah, bring in bring them with me beyond only the business and and you know having new connections for that but but people that um are have a similar like-minded you know entrepreneurs are quite unique uh, they're a bit maverick. They're a bit crazy. We can call them. Some, we can call us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and uh, and that inspires me. So for me, the people around me is really important. So I would yeah. love to get um, yeah to connect with new people and bring them in my journey. Fantastic. Him. Yeah, the people number one, and I think close to that, the businesses and the why behind those businesses. What are they trying to achieve? And not only from this retreat, but how can we help them going forward? You know, how can the whole community that you're about to create help each other moving forward? So I'm hoping that everyone stays connected beyond the retreat, uh, maybe meets up beyond the retreat for, you know, periodic catch ups and supports each other. And, and for me, you know, working with startups and scale up businesses day in, day out, I see the challenges and issues they're going through. So getting into a collective group and being able to talk through them and try and solve them and provide experiences and knowledge is what I'm really looking forward to to get out of this. Thank you very much, Flo, and him for joining us on Tankstream Speaks today. Uh, really looking forward to working with you on the retreat. And I hope the audience listening get excited and want to be part of this retreat. If you do, please visit our website, Tankstream Labs, and click on the link for the Founders Retreat. Otherwise, reach out to him, Flo, or myself on LinkedIn. And if you have any questions, please ask us. But this is open to any scale-up founders. So if you're interested and you want to sign up, please visit the website and follow the details on there and find out any more information through our website. Thank you very much, ladies, for joining us today and see you in a few months at the retreat. Thank you. Looking forward to it. Yes. See you then. Tank Stream Labs. Hee hee. Everything on? Yeah, that's on. Don't touch her.